Hello there friends and welcome back for another map mod review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Missouri USA 4X map. A very interesting map indeed. The file size is 929.23 megabytes and it contains 65 fields. So what we're going to do guys, I'm going to discuss a few things regarding this map. We'll go over and look at any added fruit types and added products. Take a look at your starting fleet and then we'll take a tour of the map. So let's begin. Once again, this is the Missouri USA 4X map. The file size is 929.23 megabytes with 65 fields on this monster. There's going to be seven greenhouses as well, which contain tomatoes, lettuce, lemons, white cabbage, red cabbage, watermelons, and cauliflower. There's also some added fruit types on here. Let's go over and take a look at the, uh, the map itself. Right there you can see there's all kinds of fields right up to 65. There's some really nice spots in here for uh, cutting grass. Wait till you see the texture of the grass. It uh, looks fantastic. I find the colors a little bit more darker and vibrant for some reason. A little bit more lush looking. You'll know what I mean as we take a look at the map. You can see everything's pretty much centrally located here. There is a few things on the outskirts. But uh, as far as other fruit types we have oats. We also have rye, peanuts, sweet corn, and cotton. So that's interesting. Let's go over and look at any added products. So there's one thing here I'm not too sure of. There's your sweet corn and your peanuts and stuff. There's some sand and gravel. I have took a tour of the map. I don't see these things on here, but there's something I could have looked over. And I'm not too sure what this is. Might be cement, perhaps. It's right in line with those. It must be a factory that I may have overlooked. Okay, there is your greenhouse items, your cauliflower and whatnot. Yes, and there's 48 apple trees on the map as well. Now you go over to them and you add water and I do believe fertilizer. And you can collect your own apples. So that's really cool. So let's go back over and take a quick look at the map here once again, guys. There's something I just wanted to show you as far as field sizes. Uh, right here. Okay, field 22, as far as I can see, is the smallest uh, field on the map, and I'll tell you that is 2.44 hectares, and it'll cost you 197,456. Now, the largest field that I can see is field 30 over here, and that is 67.35 hectares, and it'll cost you 5.4 million dollars. So, other things that are added to this map are the compass down in the corner that comes in handy. We also have a car wash. Um, chop straws added to this map. We have an airport and you do get a modest starting fleet. We'll actually take a look at that right now. Looks like you get a Massey Ferguson 5600 and 8700. We get a Fent 900 and oh, actually two of the Varios. We have a front loading attachment with a bucket, a semi, a harvester, a header. Uh, tipper, uh, is that a cultivator or cedar? Cultivator, there is our cedar. We have a mobile sprayer, uh, grass cutting attachments. We have a loading wagon, a pickup truck, and a water tanker. So yeah, you get a decent starting fleet as well as $20,000. So let's begin our tour. Now, this is your immediate starting place right here. And here is your farm directly behind you. I'll bring up the map here so you can uh, see where I am on the map. I'm centrally located right there. So we'll take a look at the uh, at the farm here. So we got this cool little machine here. This is just for water. That's a cool little setup though. There's our chickens right there. There is where your wood's going to collect and sell. Is this the sheep area? Yes, it is. All the animals are located right around here, so that's cool. What is squeaking? I hear something squeaking. Is that the chickens making that noise? <laughs> that's different. I never heard that sound before. Okay, there's some manure pickup for your sheep. Looks like cows are over here. That's going to be your milk pickup. This is your, yeah, your milking station, basically. We got seed fertilizer and liquid fertilizer and that uh, in hydro stuff I've been reviewing lately. That goes great with this map actually. When they made this map they had that in mind. So if you're going to use this map, download that stuff too. It would go hand in hand with that. Really nice parking places here. Some you have to activate, some are automatic. There's one of our harvesters right there. There's a rocking system. 
yeah some of these here you uh, will open automatically I had to press X for that one but we have these huge storage areas for your vehicles and stuff very very nice yeah I like that okay up we go again I don't think I'll show you every one of these see that one opened by itself I just had to walk up to it look at the size of these areas you could put all kinds of equipment in here oh this one opened sideways that's cool so I always like the compass in the corner that always comes in handy it looks like we got some storage area here for uh, sugar beets potatoes pig food and straw it's always nice that it's piped that you can just put it directly into a tipper we also have silage grass chaff and forage on this side so that's cool nice little silo system here you're gonna drive inside here to drop off all in one get it like that that looks like your pickup right there okay what else do we have around here there is a couple of silage bunkers there you could uh, Format chaff into silage, of course. I do believe I already went through there. So there is the immediate farm. So very, very nice. Yeah, I notice. Uh, you'll notice the the grass here. Like, look how deep it is. Look how tall it is. That's really cool. I appreciate things like that. Very, very nice map too. Okay, let's go back to the map here, guys. I keep losing my uh, HUD there for some reason, but okay we'll bring up the map I just want to make sure I go over everything in this central location before I push on get a pond over here all kinds of area to cut some grass that's cool a little fountain or something some more vehicle storage here's your pigs over here they're a little bit uh, away from your regular animals but not too far all kinds of space to drive around there as well yeah, and we'll also come over here and look at the airport and stuff because uh, everything's pretty much in the middle of the map here. So I'm going to come up here. There is our farm right there. I'm just going to come down the side here, guys, and we'll make our way back and forth across here. There is our car dealership down there. That's cool. It's all done up in John Deere. There is your drive through car wash. Very cool car wash mod if you haven't seen that before. What's this? Grimm's Costumes. Cool. Another uh, big old storage space for vehicles in there. Love these big old doors, man. That's cool. Yeah, very, very nice. Okay, let's push on. We'll look at the airport next there. Just making sure I don't miss anything on the sides here, guys. Yeah, here's the an airport with planes and helicopters. Wait till you see the planes come in. They've got really good detail on them, too agricultural flyer cool teaching the pilots how to spray crops there is a diner down below I hope we get to see a plane take off here because they got really good detail anyway we'll push on for now we'll cut on over to here the roads look pretty good too nice and bright I like how it looks like asphalt too yeah, there's the uh, logo that we're on those anhydros things. I, so you pick up fertilizer here. Please drive safely. You are not a swift driver. <laughs> Cute. I don't believe I noticed this building last time. I don't know if this serves. Oh, look, we got to, this. This is probably for that uh, the gravel and stuff, guys. Because I did not notice this building last time. Cool. You drop off there. Looks like you drop off there and pick up there. Well, that is cool. So I'd imagine what that's what that is. Now look, we got a little drive in here with a screen. I don't know. You maybe you can put some placeables in there. Get a baseball diamond up ahead. We will come. There's a train going there. There's a plane coming in. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of nice detail in here. We got an ambulance. I find these ambulances a little uh, creepy looking. They got like a stretcher hanging out of the back. Looks like it just kind of crashed out the back door. Like he stopped too fast or something. 
cop car down there. Another one hanging open. Got a little bit of residential around here. There is a place to either buy or sell pigs because there's two, if you notice, there's uh, two animal places on here. So maybe one is pigs. Not too sure, but this is one of them here. And it looks like there's just pigs here. Now watch when we go by the other one. Here's where you're going to sell your wool, guys. Well, it says wool here anyway, but I noticed it looked like it was an auto sale in the air. Not 100% about that one. But there is a trigger down there. Okay, are we missing anything? No, going on just fine. What do we have down here? Do drop in. There is a grocery store where you can sell some eggs. There's a train flying by. Here is the other uh, livestock place. Sale barn. Let's take a look at the animals here. I see a few horses in there, a few pigs. You can hear the auctioneer. Listen to him. <laughs> That's cool. I like that they add those little, little detailed things. Looks like a place you could sell some digestator slurry down below there, guys. Looks like another silo patch here. This is probably just a customer, I'd imagine. Yeah. Very cool. Drive in through there, drop it off. Okay, we got a garden center right across. Let's take a look at the garden center here. It looks like we can sell some uh, bales right there. Place to get your garden needs. So manure. Yeah, you can sell everything here. So manure, sell your uh, compost, sell everything. So that is the garden center. So let's push on here. Okay, is that the farm again? Yes, I don't want to go buy that again. I'd oh, there's a plane there, guys. Look how nice and detailed these planes are. Look at that. That looks awesome. Looks like an old World War II plane or something. Okay, I do believe I got everything here. I just want to make sure I didn't pass anything here. Look, the cotton factory. Looks like another place to could possibly buy some wool yeah cotton factory and then the wool factory over across the street get a gas station here okay I don't want to pass that again that was that okay I keep heading down this way we have a church down below looks like the town hall some more residential there is the car wash down there Yes, we've seen all this. So, that is a look at the core of the map, guys. I do believe we went over here as well. That's where the pigs were. Nice spot for, uh, for placeables here, indeed. Okay, so what I'll do is, instead of trucking across the map, I'll just shoot up to the corner. Like, uh, we'll pick field 8 here, and we'll start up here. Sounds good to me. Okay, so we got a co-op here. There's one little mistake I noticed. There's a, a service station down below. There's a floating trigger here. Now, I do believe that's just so you can sell some bales and, uh, and straw and stuff. But I'm not too sure if it's going to work if that's up in the air. But just take note of that if you uh, are the person that worked on this. Maybe you might want to fix it. Looks like we got a nice sale point here. The co-op. Nice. Here goes that plane again. Okay, we'll keep coming down the uh, west coast here. Looks like we got another silage patch here. Looks like we got a fermenting silo. You can uh, turn chaff into silage, of course. Some more vehicle storage down below. Look at these beautiful grass areas. I know I keep saying that, but I just can't get over the grass, like how lush this map looks. Looks really cool. Yeah, the BGA was kind of hard to locate on here because it wasn't really uh, marked down too well. I'm not sure if I can do that. No. Well, you'll see it when I get down there. But for now, I'm just going to keep flying down the west side here. Like I said, this is a 4X map, so this will be a lot to take on for one person. We have a uh, oil refinery down here. I do believe you bring your canola here. Perhaps it's something else, but I know 
Is that one? Well, okay, there it is. Yes, you bring canola down and you can get uh, forage, digestate, and fuel made from that. So, very nice mod here. This thing brings in some decent, decent uh, cash flow, that's for sure. Okay, we're going to push on. We got another company coming up here. This looks like another potential customer, perhaps. Grain elevator, yeah. Another place to sell some uh, straw and whatnot. Looks like you can get some fuel there, some biofuel. There's your drop off. Yeah. Okay, sorry if I make you guys dizzy by moving around too fast. I do have to have it on 3x or it'll take forever to get around this map. So I'm just going to come up the uh, south here. There's not a whole lot to see except for these big old nice square fields. Now you'll notice there's not any forestry on here. That is one downside I have to say. But uh, if you're just in looking for the farming aspect of the game and that's what you're into, you're going to love this map. But yeah, I have to say there is no forestry. Not that I've seen. Okay, we're coming up on another service station here. I'd imagine uh, some of these probably have triggers that you can sell your biofuel. These little oil uh, pumps there, that's kind of neat. And there's huge grass areas. You can see the big old square grass areas right like in the middle of the map and stuff. Like all kinds of ways to get some grass. Is that mud? Oh, we got some mud patches it looks like. Get your uh, vehicles dirty. Okay, let's head on up to the uh, greenhouses here. This is also going to be your plantation for your apples. So I'll show you how you go about that. Start at the end down here and we'll make our way up. Now there's your uh, apple orchard there. The greenhouses are humongous. There is a uh, compost master right there. I like the little silo set up at the end. Yeah, here's your apple trees. Now you'll notice that a, uh, a box will come up there telling you to put water and manure in here and you can get your apple production up and running. So that's really cool. Here is your greenhouses. Everything's conveyored there so it'll sell multiple pallets before you have to empty that. I shouldn't say they're going to sell them. It'll make multiple pallets. You'll probably have to sell them yourself because I don't see a sales trigger at the end of that. These may take diesel too. Sometimes when they have these little uh, generators at the side they take diesel as well so let's take a look at that actually okay oh there it is okay yeah fuel it does you need seed as well so yeah these take four different things to get them up and running and oh you can get compost from this cool looks like it makes compost as well so unless you need compost I don't think it's kind of in the uh, the bottom part there so how come that doesn't show up all the time okay you gotta be right on top of it that's different the way that shows up on the oil, on that side. Yeah, products is what it makes. So yeah, you get compost and lemons. Very cool. So that is the lemon greenhouse. Here is the red cabbage. I take it. There is our white cabbage. That is our cauliflower. Some more vehicle storage here. Another grain drop off some liquid fertilizer, some fuel, some water, some seed and liquid fertilizer. Check these silos out. Really cool. Like that. Some more vehicle storage down below as well as there. Okay, we'll check out the greenhouses on this side. So that is tomatoes. That is watermelons. And that is lettuce. So that's all seven right there. Plus your apples the eight okay very cool what do we got over here what did we out no we didn't see this okay this looks like the dairy here coming up yep dairy foods cool there's where you drop off your milk okay we're gonna take a blast over here right where that uh, gas pump is I'm heading towards that's actually your BGA I don't know why it's not showing up a little bit more clear, but as you can see, we have four large silage bunkers down below with scale. Place to get some fuel, some liquid fertilizer. I like these little uh, this little setup here. Looks like a uh, refinery for sure. An above ground drop off for your silage, and you will get. I do believe that's going to be slurry, but it might be digestate. I'm not too sure, but that is your BGA. So we'll okay, keep heading around the side here. I do believe that's about it. Yeah. 
just to uh, make sure I'll just jump up to this one last field just to uh, see if I did check out this corner I don't know if I did or not oh yeah here's some more stuff some more fertilizer sales and that Buffalo Grill cool looks like another sales spot there as well as a, another uh, service station here get some cash at the old ATM and we're gonna bring this back to the farm I really like this map if I wasn't playing the one I am now I'd probably jump right on over to this because I love the setup and there's lots of room for placeables if you notice there too so there you have it guys that was the Missouri USA 4x map the file size is 929.23 megabytes and there's 65 fields on this monster so Additional information and links can be found down below. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's review. If you did, maybe you could leave a like on your way out. And if you're new to the channel, guys, why don't you go ahead and click on Nick right there in the middle of your screen, and I'll bring you new mod reviews every second day and Let's Plays every other day. Plus, my Patreon link is just below if you'd like to check that out and uh, donate to a smaller channel. It really helps out, guys. So, until next time, take care, and we'll see you all in the next one.